Good afternoon. I'm here with BFA. I'm here at the BFA with Mr. David Sabir. Um, and on behalf of Digicel, we're here to announce a very exciting venture, a uh, joint venture. Mr. Sabir, thank you for being here. Thank you. Well, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to have Digicel uh, in the home of football, the epicenter of, uh, of football in Bermuda. And uh, we are here to receive some very exciting news that will be beneficial to our our participants. Yes, uh, so Digicel has decided to start a football fund to benefit uh, the youth teams of Bermuda. Uh, with this fund, we'll be able to uh, assist many clubs um, with the various needs that they have. Uh, we noticed that there's a need for that in the community, um, so we took the opportunity to get involved and we partnered with uh, Mr. Sabir and his team and they've been very gracious and generous and very helpful. And we decided to uh, allocate some funds towards towards these clubs that are very much in need, specifically to their youth youth programs. Well, when uh, when uh, Nigel from Digicel approached me about the establishment of this fund, clearly we were very excited uh, on behalf of our clubs that uh, that another corporate uh, corporate entity in Bermuda is uh, looking at the value and assess the value of football and its role that it plays in our community. Um, so. From this standpoint, on behalf of the Bermuda Football Association and the many clubs that participate in the leagues that this fund is going to earmark uh, to support, we are, we are very thankful and we are gr very grateful. And uh, we are certain that the clubs will use it uh, for its intended purposes to support youth football in Bermuda. Of course, we're very excited to, uh, to, to come on board with, along with the BFA. Digicel is absolutely no stranger to uh, sports, youth sports in particular. Uh, we partner with uh, the Cricket Association. We have ventures in rugby as well. Um, so it's only a natural step to go towards uh, football and assisting where we can there. The fund will essentially uh, set, be set up so that it can aid any, any parts of, of the clubs that that need aiding um, as far as uniforms or equipment. Um, anyone is eligible for it. Uh, any club is eligible uh, to apply for the fund. You just, it'll, you'll write in and you'll let us know where you need assistance. Um, and we'll, we'll go from there. Um, each club will receive equal opportunity. Um, and we'll, we'll try our best to help all those that are in need uh, as we sh have a strong belief and a, a strong support of, of our youth in Bermuda. What's the overall dollar value? The dollar value is as high as we can go, um, and, and we'll, we'll do what we can to make sure that we can help everyone else. But Digicel has spent over $300,000 in, in sporting uh, within Bermuda, so we'll see what we can do. Uh, but the overall dollar, dollar value is, is, is a good one. You're not willing to say what the dollar value I don't think the dollar value actually needs to be said. Uh, we just want to make sure that each club is able to be assisted. So it's, uh, it's no need to say the actual dollar value, but we will help as much as we can. Okay. Mr. Sabir, um, from the association standpoint, we recently had um, clubs kind of uh, vote to delay something in which they had to um, fill out paperwork and have meet criteria. Um, how confident are you that they can they'll be able to fulfill this in order to get what this sells off? Well, I think you I think we have to recognize that there is an offer to support. Um, it's not obligatory or mandatory. Um, so uh, Digital is extending the opportunity for clubs to uh, to write in and, and request uh, funding support to enhance the programs. I am one hundred percent confident that our clubs will take this opportunity in earnest and get in contact with this cell and take advantage of this very worthy initiative. And it's worth noting that the process isn't made to be complicated. It's just very straightforward. It's very simple. Um, we made it as simple as possible for that very reason. We want to make sure that no one feels uh, intimidated to apply. Uh, so we do hope that each club does take advantage of it. Um, and, and we do look forward to, to receiving receiving the paperwork. When, when the initial talk started, Mr. Sabir, um, was there any talk about clubs in good standing or not in good standing that will be able to apply or not apply? No, I think Digital made it very clear that they wanted to support those, uh, those clubs that have teams participating in the under 7, under 9, and under 11 uh, age groups. Uh, I think we can say that there is never enough resource, in particular never enough funding 
to support the, the work that the clubs do um, for youth football. So uh, the BFA's position is to, is to encourage and at the same time also lend its support in the areas of ensuring uh, that our clubs can take advantage of, of as many opportunities to support what they do as possible. And just on digital's behalf, there's equal opportunity. I'm a fellow, obviously. So obviously, uh, you know, many people may associate me with St. George's and St. David's. However, um, if there is a selection process in place and, and there is, of course, no bias, um, it's an equal opportunity. And as I stated earlier, we really want every club to take advantage of it, no matter what is perceived to be their financial standing. And is very good in the community as far as sporting-wise. Can we see this as a, a branding type uh, venture for, for the company? Uh, well, of course, Digicel its brand only attaches the brand, its brand to things that they believe in, and we firmly believe in, in sporting, especially youth sporting, um, and wherever we could get our brand in and assist in, in whatever way possible, we're going to continue to do that. Mr. Sabir, do all the clubs have youth programs? The majority of our clubs, almost 95% of our clubs, have a youth team of some sort participating in the BFA's programs. How many children do you see being affected by this? Well, it's going to be a lot um, because at the end of the day, if you look across the, uh, across the whole program, in this, these age groups, we're talking about 60-something teams. And if you add minimum of, of, of 15 players per team, that's quite a number of, of uh, players that will be impacted. But more importantly, is that it helps to lessen the burden, in this case, the financial burden uh, on our clubs. As you know, lots of them, of, of our clubs, uh, utilize their own funding, uh, personal funding, and so uh, anything that can be done to help alleviate that stress is most beneficial. Speak to the importance of having the business community get involved with uh, groups like the BFA to help local sporting I think, I think, you know, Bermuda as a whole um, is generally concerned about the well-being of our country. And I think when we speak in terms of development of the, uh, the whole individual, and we've heard the saying before, it takes, it takes a village to raise a child, it takes a village to uh, keep a community together. So at the end of the day, the importance of the, uh, of the corporate community, and thanks to Digicel at this instance for, uh, for supporting our clubs, um, is really, really significant, and, and hopefully, uh, you know, more and more uh, uh, corporate entities see the importance of football and can use football and our clubs as a tool to improve and to improve people's lives. Mr. Fogo, mm -hmm. the process once paperwork is filled out, how long do you envision the process of clubs finding out whether or not they're approved or not approved? Uh, how long do you envision that it will take? Uh, we envision that it will take one week. Uh, the process actually on the application form, the clubs will spot that we ask them to uh, identify three areas of, of need. Um, so as I said, we would hope that we could help each and everyone that applies. Um, we will then select from one of those areas of need, um, but the entire process we're hoping should take no more than one week from the time of, of, of receiving the application. Is there a specific timeline for clubs to apply? Uh, well, the paperwork will be sent out pretty much 24 hours after this um, with the BFA's assistance, and they have two weeks uh, from the time that they receive it to get it back to us, and then the selection process will be within that week after. after.